Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to see and use this voltage booster or step up converter based on LTC 1871. So, this device can accept uh, 3 to 35 volts as an input, and also it boosts it up, up to 35 volts at the output. And because it uses a uh, high current MOSFET here, it makes it very powerful and we will see if this heatsink is enough to supply up to 6 ampere current for different output voltage. So let's get started with this. The module has uh, this terminal for the input. So that's mentioned here as a plus and minus. This is the input and also it has been labeled as output. And then we have a three digit uh, seven segment display here with two buttons so with uh, this one you can just select what is displayed here input or output and with this one you can also shut off the output and we will have a look at that later then we have here a potentiometer which you can uh, adjust the output voltage we have four screws here this can be installed on a machine the package that I purchased also provided these stand off with screws so that this has come so you can install this on your board and then put this with another screw the screw has not been provided the length of the device is 67 millimeters 67.2 the width is 43.8 millimeters the biggest part is the uh, these capacitors so the, the height is 11.8 millimeters if you want to know the weight Without the heat sink, it's about 20 gram, 20.7, and then if I put the heat sink, that's 25 grams. This module has three important components. The first one is the actual voltage converter here, and then the second one is the power MOSFET. The third one, which they put here, a reverse polarity protection. They put a shot key diode, so it protects it either input incorrectly the polarity is incorrect it just protects it it doesn't burn all of this it just takes the current for a few seconds it gives you time to uh, connect it back so this is the LTC 1871 voltage regulator here so it has very wide input range of 2.5 up to 36 volts which we are, we are going to test it the chip that I have on this module is here is the model number and here is the mark on the port. So it says LTSX. It has 10 lead and this is the operating temperature from minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. So this is the 4184 in channel MOSFET. The job of this one is to boost the current so it is used as an amplifier and here are the pin configuration as you can see here it can work up to 40 volts and it can handle up to 50 ampere but uh, internally they have said this with this module it works up to 6 ampere which I will, we are going to test it and here is the dual shot key diode here uh, the these two pins have been connected these two pins have been connected to the positive I've tested it and the job of this one is if you connect the polarity incorrectly immediately short circuit from the input directly to here and uh, saving all other components the shot key protection diode is from Panjit semiconductor this is Taiwanese based semiconductor and the voltage range is it can work with 20 to 60 volts and 10 ampere so this is another thing so this can uh, do the short circuit and here if I just zoom in internal diagram of the circuit of this device is this pin 1 3 so this is 1 that 3 and then 2 and 4 2 is this pin and 4 is the heatsink pin and the model that is used is this one 40C so 
the maximum peak current reverse current is 40 ampere so it can go up to 40 ampere and the RMS voltage is 28 volts and prevent the device from burning I'm going to attach this heatsink before start testing it Now, if I rotate this with this screwdriver, turning it right, the voltage will increase clockwise, and then I'm going to go quick. 20.6. 20 so until we reach that voltage, it's very stable. But above that, you see, Suddenly, when I reach that voltage, pay attention, now it changes. It's 12 volts and we get, we get that voltage, 20.6, 6 volts, 5 volts. Still it's working because uh, the screen doesn't show uh, less than 4.5 volts. As you can see here, the input voltage is 3.3 .3 volts. And that is the output, so let's go with the maximum. So from 3.3 .3 volts we are getting 35 volts, but uh, keep in mind that this is without a load. When you put a load and actual work that, that's done by this device, it will make a huge difference, which we will see next. So now I've connected this, the output is connected to this electronic load from here to here which we will see all the current here and this is the output voltage and the input voltage is now 12 volts as you can see this light is on if I press this so that's the output voltage and you see the discrepancy but this is the correct one and also here you can see that this voltage is correct Now let's do the first test. The input is 12 volts and the output is 30 volts. The current is set at 6 ampere. So I'm just turning it on and let's see. So the voltage has dropped now 15 volts. The voltmeter is not working. So failed 5 ampere so the same voltage the output is 30 volts and this is 5 ampere now test I increase the output decrease it to 5 ampere and it's the output is 30 volts so input is 12 now the voltage dropped significantly and failed so Now let's go with a 4 ampere. Let's go to 3 ampere. Now still 2 amp, 25 volts. 1 amp, 30 volts. So 12 volts input and 30 volts output. 1 ampere the current it can supply. But now I'm connecting my current clamp to show you the input current. So the input current is 3.6 ampere at 12 volts. So now we are getting 5 amp, 5 times 12, 60. So we are getting 60 watt here, and here we are getting 30 times 1.5 that's 45 watt so as you can see here
Now the input is 12 volts, the output is 24 volts. Let's try 6 ampere and see the input and output. So 14 volts failed. The output drops 5, uh, 6 ampere doesn't work. Now let's try 5 ampere, turns to 24 volts. Voltage dropped, not good. Failed input. 24 volts output 4 ampere 17 volts so voltage drop doesn't work so failed now changing it to 3 amp that's 12 volts failed 2 ampere 24 volts let's see the input is the input current is 5 ampere 5.3 and at 12 volts and here we have 2 ampere at 24 volts Now I'm testing 12 volts input, 16 volts output, and then let's try 2 amp, and then we see we go higher. So that's 2.47, which is 2.5 ampere. Current is drawn. So let's increase the current. So, so 12 volts input, 16 volts output, 4.5 ampere. That's hot but let's see now if the voltage drop there was a little voltage drop so i decrease the current now it's at around 4.2 amperes 16 volts very stable so passed ampere and here we have 5.4.5 ampere so 12 times 6.5 and we can see the efficiency of this uh, setup at 12 to 16 volt is now I have connected 5 volts of the input and output is 12 volts here and the current is 2.4 ampere as you can see here the input current is 6.2 and voltage is 5 so you can multiply it and then the power and then the efficiency as you can see it here so 2.4 amp so 5 volts input 12 volts output 2.2 ampere load I've left it for over 10 minutes now and it's working perfect so fast so for conclusion that this device can supply at 5 volts to 12 volts 2.2 2 ampere and also a different level that I showed you all these results are valid when this heat sink is attached to this uh, to the MOSFET otherwise the result will vary or will not be valid this was the review for this chip uh, thank you for watching